just around the corner. And so I thought I'd bring to you a fun um, red, white, and blue Independence Day makeup tutorial that you can do. Um, I think a lot of us shy away from the idea of wearing anything blue as far as makeup is concerned. And, you know, years ago with, uh, was it Mimi? <laughs> that kind of thing. No worries. We're not going to take it to that extreme. You can actually create uh, uh, just a classic, sharp, um, yet festive look. And um, that's what I'm going to take you through today. And um, in this makeup tutorial. So you can, of course, play it up more dramatic depending on your event that you're going to, or if it's just something quick and fun for the day. Um, I did one as well last week that um, just kind of shared multi-purpose, multitasking type products that are fabulous for traveling, um, camping, um, products that do several things all in one. Um, so if that's more you, let me know. I'd be happy to share that video with you as well. Um, yeah, so comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And um, let's get you started. So I often do um, my makeup first, uh, the foundation and what I've discovered is with my eyes, as far as especially with my hooded eyes, is that it kind of works easier for me to do my eyes first. And then that way, any little bit of fallout or messes that I have happen can easily be cleaned up and I'm not wiping away um, any of the work that I did or product. Okay, so first I am going to start out with our um, candlelight eyeshadow. And so I have um, moisturized, cleansed, did all of my skincare first. Um, because, of course, that is a huge factor in whether or not our products are going to stay well and go on smoothly, right? Now I also did some instant under eye uh, puffiness reducer, which is always a challenge for me. So that's already done its work and totally brought those down. From, um, summer, summer foods with hot dogs and <laughs> sunflower seeds and all of that kind of stuff that I love to eat on the pontoon yesterday of course shows up the next morning so now what I just did is put some eye primer on my lids and that um, helps kind of fill in any creases and at the same time it helps um, keep your product on and just keeps it from looking crepey so what I am putting on now, more so on just like this inner half and a little bit right under the brow on my brow bone is our Candlelight Chroma Fusion Eyeshadow. And this stuff is amazing. Our eyeshadows, um, and cheek colors are a 12 hour wear. So they do go on beautifully. They just give you a really light, this one has a very, very light sheen to it. And um, yeah, has that nice long wear already. So, but you know, I get a little crepey sometimes um, with my creased eyes and hood. So that, is what you kind of want to prep that outer third or half. And then I like to do, um, for my crease, 
We're going to go with just a hazelnut, which is a very light, neutral brown. And I'm basically putting that in that other kind of half or really just kind of a, a rainbow shape, if you will. This is a mat, which you want because a mat will push back visually that, um, that brow bone, that um, brow bone, or should I say even more so that hood. So it kind of gives you that shadow back that um, we often lose <laughs> as we're in our 40s and now 50s for me. Um, and so then we are going to go on to um, a little bit of color. And, and you know, we have different uh, shades of blue. I'm actually going to go with more of a gray because for me, especially, I noticed that um, it's fairly bluish <laughs> in itself. So I am going with, let me see, I believe this one is called Shadow. And so it's like a deep gray. And really, I just want to put it right in that corner. I kind of create like a little bit of a V or a backward seven. And then I'll clean that up at the end there. see that a little better on that side. My veins want to get into it. Okay, and then yeah, again, the goal is to stop more there. Now you can go even more blue, which we also have, which is a starry, I gotta look again, midnight is called. I'm going to put that in with it. So that way, <clears throat> it is definitely more of a smoky look than a bright blue. Okay, so you can see that pretty well. The sunlight is streaming in here. <clears throat> now you can go with whatever your favorite um, eyeliner is, of course. But we are going to, where did, I just got it. <laughs> I want, want it, there it is. My um, Steely, we're going to go ahead with, <laughs> I've got my, this dressier shirt that I put on that I thought would be perfect with this, but it just kind of wants to keep showing all of its little straps sticking out. So Steely is a fun liner. You can kind of see it's a almost bluish silvery gray. So I just like to hold my skin still. I'm not pulling on it. I'm basically just holding it. And then I like to stroke it right into that lash line. And this is just um, kind of what we call thin lining. And so you can come from above, but if you come from below, for a lot of us, it's easier to get right into the lash line. Yeah, that just totally <laughs> perks my eyes right up. So, same with this one. I'm just kind of holding that loose skin. I only go a little ways on that bottom lash line. And then I bring it up above, kind of directing it right along that from the nose to the eye to the edge of the um, brow. And again, you can go across the top a little bit but I know we often find we have those skips that happen. 
And so coming from underneath, and it's not, not really in the water line, it's just bringing out your lash line. Now you can see my lashes, right? Okay, now mascara, there's, oh, we have so many different um, fabulous mascaras. If you're gonna be swimming that day, you maybe wanna go with the waterproof. Um, but otherwise, all of our mascaras are water resistant, smudge resistant, all that good stuff. So once you get them on there, they stay put. So, oop, there I did it. <laughs> now I can try to, yeah, might just have to wait. And I'll show you how to take that off. Now, this is what I need to be doing more, is I've found with my hooded eyes, if I tip my head back more and then look ahead, I have less of the, the mistakes happening. And being I have a little bit of a tremor in addition to it, um, yeah, you can just, like I said, see those <laughs> little mistakes that happens um, just so much more often. And typically it's under my eye, but um, <laughs> what I'm going to do to clean up is, and I forgot to grab that, is just taking a Q-tip with our amazing oil-free eye makeup remover. I just get a little on the tip and I can take that little bit of a smudge that I got there and just tap it and it's gone. And yet I haven't messed up or removed all the other work that I've done. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go in with our foundation. And again, we have so many different uh, formulas. I just love our liquid, um, if I, right at the end here. So I'm squeezing it out. Our liquid foundation. Come on. There it is, right at the end. So our liquid foundations come in a matte or luminous finish. And um, I can help match that for you as well. This is a fun new um, brush for our Mary Kay um, charitable foundation organization. Um, receives a um, donation for every one of these that are purchased. And you're able to purchase this amazing brush and it's like thousands of bristles in there. Um, for only $5 with every uh, liquid foundation purchase. So I was super excited about that. And it just feels like almost a little massage. But we have fabulous brushes and sponges. Our blending sponge works amazing as well. And you could tell my face was definitely kind of almost a couple shades darker than the rest of my skin. Um, even though I always am very good about wearing our um, sunblock, it's just not the same shade. It's almost a little pinker beige. So this evened it out really nice. Um, and this was the mat that I used today. And so you can set it at any point that you like and at multiple layers. A lot of women love to use that setting spray as their um, um, almost a primer before they even do foundation. Um, so, uh, let's see. 
All right, well, let's finish it up. I keep it pretty simple. A little bit of um, cheek color right at the top of the bone, almost right in front. And then the highlight goes at the very top. I want to work with a highlighter. I'm using, I believe this lighter one is called glazed. I got to look. Or honey. I think it's glazed. And then the contour, just more the brown, is right tucked right into that, not so far down. If you're more in my age range, <laughs> you want to keep it nice and high. Huh? What I do there. And again, you can play with it, side of the nose to narrow the nose. For me, with my high part, I like to add a little there. Just kind of shrinks that a little bit. And even you can take off a little of the jowl. <laughs> it all helps. Okay. Hmm. And, of course, you can use some setting powder or pressed powder to set it as well. I definitely lean toward dry, so I don't even always, I don't always use that. Um, but for something newer as well, um, for the lips, I'm just going to, well, first go show a, um, where did it go? Da -da -da. They kind of roll and blend right in with the rest. This is um, more of a berry liner. And so I'm going to... It looks very red to me. So just going to pull it a little more. And I did um, also satin lips this morning to get off all that dry, dead lips, skin, loose skin. Okay. And this is our newer um, matte liquid lip. I believe it's called liquid lipstick. Yeah, matte liquid lipstick in the red. And this is such a pretty color. And I absolutely love, love how these feel. And trust me, I'm not always a lipstick fan because some of them are just so dry or they look dry in a few minutes or whatever. But this literally like almost stains your lips. And um, yeah, so what do you think of that for a fun um, 4th of July look? Something you can do pretty quick, um, just a few products. And yeah, gives you that red, white, and blue festive look. And yet at the same time, it's it keeps it sharp and classic too. So I will um, list below the different products that I used. I think I named most of them. You can also peek at my website if you would love to try some of those. And, um, and yeah, ask any questions below, comment, let me know where you're tuning in from and um, anything fun that you did over the weekend. My family and I got together, my sisters and I, I should say, um, got together down at my my dad's and and just kind of overhauled the house, just totally cleaned and cleaned for him. And um, as kind of his belated, if you will, Father's Day gift and blueberry pie, <laughs> pizza and blueberry pie. So that was fun on Saturday. And then yesterday we were able to get out on the pontoon and just enjoy some time out on the river as well. So I always love hearing what you guys do too and um, just getting to know you better as well. So 
have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I look forward to helping you feel festive for your holiday as well.